Regular favorite this year, Shirley House. What'd you think, Laura? Oh, Shirley House is one we go to every year. Look forward to it. It's great. I mean, they have a lot, a lot going on. And every time we go back every year, there seems to be something different. So I really enjoy it. It's one of the top, um, you know, yard displays that we see just with so much to do there. And I know on the weekends they have live actors, they have videos in the windows, and, they, and even the windows there's like props and, and different items in each window of the house. They have stuff outside the house. There's stuff everywhere. And a lot of it, they're all like animatronic. They move and there's sounds and it's just incredible. It's a great home haunt. Like I said, that's one that if you can get to one, you know, get to a home haunt in the area, Make sure you get out there. It's a great sight to see. I give it five, as always, five chainsaws. It's great. Yeah, Shirley House, one we always look forward to out in Orland. Very nice yard display. They always have something different, as Laura mentioned. This year, what was different is they have a crypt, and the crypt's always there, but who occupies the crypt is always a different type of figure. And this time, it looked like a guy who had been burned, or he was made up of, like, glowing lava. He was a skeletal figure, and he, glue, he was glowing. He was pretty cool and there were a lot of other things some shaky corpses that was new too yeah there was they're a, all shaken the old la there's this little old lady figure who rocks back and forth she's usually in the house this year she's on top of a hearse it's a like sort of a horse-drawn hearse and she's on top of it rocking back and forth and inside is a shaky uh corpse inside of a coffin which is kind of cool and additionally along the garage this time it looks like a mausoleum both doors of the garage are covered with what look like um, headstones in a mausoleum with different sayings on them, different people. There was a wolf figure who howled this time in the tower. There's a tower on the right-hand side. A wolf figure, he actually howled from time to time. And on the front steps, there's a gate there. And when you go up there, it was Cerberus, the three-headed dog that guards the gate to Hades in Greek mythology. Really cool, really cool. There was a skeletal guy who, gl who was glowing in the dark. His whole body lit up. He was underneath like a black cape. And also, there was this statue, right when you walk through the gates, a statue that appeared to just be a non-moving statue, but it actually looks up at you from time to time. It's really kind of creepy, especially if you catch it off guard. And as Laura said, they do have live actors on the weekends and at different times that really add to it. But for sheer entertainment value, just to take a look at all the different props and everything they have, definitely Shirley House is one to do. It's really great. Five out of five for me.